E-Class Mark III Basic Advanced Red Blinking Fault Light. Prerequisites. The printer should be powered on and connected to the desired interface, USB, Ethernet, or serial. The correct power supply part number is DP0782856.01, and the output should be 24 volts slash 2.5 amp. If your E-Class Mark III displays a red fault light after replacing any media supplies, ribbon and labels, follow these steps. Mechanical troubleshooting. Make sure the supplies are correctly installed. Media hangers holding the roll of labels on both sides and the media guides are adjusted so they are lightly touching the edge of the media. If used, make sure the ribbon is securely installed on both sides. When using half-inch core ribbon, make sure the core is fully inserted into the green gear on the left. On the E-Class Mark III Advanced, make sure both media sensors are adjusted at the same position number. Run a quick calibration. Power cycle the printer. Turn it off wait 30 seconds, and then turn it back on. Wait 30 seconds to allow the printer to boot up completely. Press and hold play pause button 10 seconds until the status left LED starts to flash green. Once the status LED starts to flash green, release the play pause button. The printer will feed several labels and will then stop. The status LED should now show solid green and the error right LED should no longer be lit. If not, follow the next step. This is done with the USB driver. Configure the printer correctly for the type of media currently loaded. Make sure the right inner driver is already installed in your computer, otherwise it will get the file from here, https hsmftp.honeywell.com. The file is in software, printer, printer software and drivers, printer drivers, Windows print drivers current. Once the driver is installed, Go to Control Panel, select Devices and Printers, and right-click on the Printer icon and choose Printer Properties. Go to Tools, Configure, Configure Printer. A printer configuration window will pop up in the screen. Select the appropriate settings accordingly. Print Method, Direct Thermal, No Ribbon Installed. Thermal Transfer, Ribbon and Labels. Sensor Type, Transmissive, Gap, Notch in Between Labels. Reflective, Black Mark, Line in Between Labels or continuous receipt paper and no gaps on perforations. Length should be physical length of the label. Maximum length should be at least three times the label length. Once all these values are adjusted correctly, click on Configuration, Send to Printer. Wait for the printer to restart about 30 seconds and run the quick calibration again. Note, it is also advised once all the steps are done from one to four to perform a form feed. This is done by pressing one time the feed button. If this does not correct the issue, it is recommended to upgrade the firmware version. Please reference the article 00004066 or detailed steps on the firmware upgrade process.